What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So really quick, when we start out this video, I'm gonna let you know, tomorrow is your last day to enter to win this six speed manual 2015 six seven Cummins plus $5,000 cash. Truck's got 26,000 miles on it. American Force wheels, everything's been done in terms of the front end, the paint matching, the new grill, the headlights, the OEM LED sport tail lights, everything we thought that we could do to make this truck seem like an OEM truck, but come with a regular cab and a stick transmission. I mean, it's even got the Uconnect with navigation in the search bar and all the different apps and features and all the crazy stuff. You can even get Wi-Fi for the truck if you want to pay for the plan for the Wi-Fi. It's just nuts. So if you want to enter to win this truck, tomorrow's your last day. Today's progress and work is going to be focused on the first gen again, which needs a major cleaning. Oh my goodness, this thing needs clean so bad. Um, this barn is just, it's a dust storm since the ceiling's not done yet and it's not sealed off up there. Uh, and the horses come in and out of there. It just the dust just swirls up and just gets all over this thing. We're gonna take care of that soon. Let's get into what we're gonna be working on today. And I think what I mostly wanna focus on is working on getting the windshield out of the truck. And then on top of that, trying to focus on getting the dash swapped out as well. So that's what we're gonna try to work on. Uh, can't promise we're gonna get all that done, but just because these little tiny projects of little mixed things going on, some of this stuff takes longer than you would think. You would think like uh, popping out a windshield, there's no way it's gonna take long. Well, you'd be surprised. It can actually be a pain in the butt. For those of you that didn't know, it is just cracked, 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 cracked. I mean, it's cracked all over the place and it's just not not safe. And obviously we're not going to drive the truck around with a shattered windshield. It just doesn't look cool. If you have a cracked windshield, nothing against that. I'm just saying, like for me, I don't wanna drive this truck around. Everything looking great and then a big cracked windshield. So we're gonna continue on working on that windshield and trying to get that taken out right now. I'm not sure how far we'll get, but that's gonna be the goal. And then we'll see how far we can get from there. Windshield is out. Need to clean up around there. There's like grease or, I think that's like grease or some kind of silicone sealant or something around the whole edge of it. But, uh, Windshield is out, so uh, ready for the next step, which when we go to install the new one, we're gonna have to obviously clean up everything around here. But for now, what I'd like to focus on is trying to trying to get this dash out if we can. It should be easy now that we don't have the windshield in because I know exactly where all the bolts are because I took the one out of the parts truck. The only difference is for the parts truck, it was a complete pain in the butt because the windshield was in. And if you see these bolts here that hold in the dash, there's I think eight of them along the front here that sits behind the rubber sealant or uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, weather stripping that holds that um, windshield in place. It lays over top of these little bolts. Not to mention, if you look at the angle, they're like smashed in up against the glass anyway. So it's really hard to get to them without taking the glass out. So luckily in our case, we had to take the glass out anyways. So it's not like any kind of big inconvenience to have to do that. But I'm telling you what, without these, strips holding this thing together. When this thing was wiggling around, it was cracking and just making all kinds of horrible sounds lifting this out of there. I was so scared that this thing was gonna bust all over the front of this truck. I was like, oh my gosh, please don't break all over the truck, you know? We're gonna get to try to take this dash apart right now and see where we can get. Okay, so let me show you the progress update that we have for the truck. Probably two hours between the windshield and the dash right now. And uh, let, me, uh, let me show you what we got in terms of progress. Here's the dash, actually. Um, the old dash. Big old monster cracks all over in it. And most of the stuff on this dash, I don't, I don't really need it. With it. With the dash, I was pretty much just gonna chuck it since it was all just destroyed as it is. Um, because I've got a good dash over here that I pretty much just gotta dust off, um, take a microfiber towel to it and give it a good wipe down to get all the dust off. But let me show you these two dashes side by side. Now they are slightly different, but they will, but it will work. So if you look at these two dashes and you compare them, everything's the same in terms of the mounting and the screws. I mean the two brackets there, two brackets there, screws, screws, you know, just all that other stuff. It's all the same. The only thing that's different about that dash and this dash is this one has the AC vents 
on the passenger side as well. This one will still have them on the driver's side, obviously, like this one had before, because the vents go through that trim piece there, which, by the way, let me show you here. This trim piece, we're just going to end up setting directly in here, okay? So that trim piece is gonna go in the new black dash the way that uh, I wanted it to. That way it still says Cummins Turbo Diesel, the four-wheel drive stuff and all that jazz, and it's all gonna be wired up and it's gonna look perfect. Like I said, the only difference is there's no vents on the passenger side for that dash. I could have it cut to put those vents in the new dash. The only thing that makes me nervous is will it look factory will it look perfect I don't know so I would have to measure it very carefully and cut it very carefully but I'm pretty sure I could do it because these do pop out if you see these little metal clips actually I should be able to pop that right now and show you you just squeeze and push and looky there it pops right out so what I would have to basically do is trace that measurement over to the new one, over to the new dash, and then after that, pretty much just put it in there, push it in, and it'll just clip in. Now it does have like a little nick in the corner there, um, but other than that, the other one's in really good shape. It doesn't have any chips or nicks, but I mean, it's got that little tiny nick, but let me tell you, um, you're gonna want AC in the truck on both sides. <laughs> it would be no fun if only the driver had AC, unless you're the one driving the truck. But for me, I know that if I'm gonna be driving this truck a while, and Reagan's gonna be in the truck with me at times, she's gonna want air conditioning. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I somehow figured out how to um, do the AC on that side as well. So that's what we're gonna plan on, is having to cut and piece the vents into the dash that way. Um, the truck has, obviously, the AC is blown everywhere, otherwise you'll still have the AC blown in the dash behind it, but it's just going to be blown behind the dash all over the place and not actually distributing it towards the passenger. So, um, but we'll get to that in another video. Let me show you guys the interior of this truck. I hope you guys like these style videos because I know they don't usually like seem super long and super like crazy interesting, but they're just the steps and processes of, you know, doing this type of a whole interior swap that you just got to do. In terms of the interior, this thing needs a freaking deep clean, so that's going to be fun. The sunlight is so bad right now. I've got the shop door open so that I have some lighting in here because I don't have any LED lighting in the shop yet, but maybe this will be a little bit better. So we've got the dash all taken out. You can see how dusty and filthy it is. I'm going to be taking a vacuum in here, vacuuming everything, taping, taking some armor wipes and some microfiber towel and just wiping everything down. Um, it's super filthy behind here. Obviously, it's 32 years of dust getting pulled into those vents. It's just blown all behind it, not to mention the interior on this truck was never really cleaned, as far as I could tell, um, in a long, long time. Hopefully, we can uh, get this interior clean as can be. Look at there. That's gonna be the plan. It's gonna be fun, but uh, just a lot of stuff to do. Um, luckily, the wiring on these things is not that complicated for the dash stuff. And it's pretty much just plug and play in terms of like the speedometer, tack, and all that jazz. There's really not much to them. There's like four cords that you have to plug back in when you put everything back together, but that's about it. Guess we're just gonna have to leave it like that for now because I don't have a tarp to put over this thing. Not to mention the whole thing's dusty as it is. The interior's freaking covered in dust. I'm not too concerned about the dust right now getting into the truck because it's already everywhere in the dash. We will uh, eventually here need to pull this thing out and wipe it all down just to get it clean for another, you know, 24 hours before it's coated in dust again. That is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Do remember everybody that the giveaway for this truck ends tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. So if you want to claim 20X entries and your place in the drawing towards winning this truck, go check out the website. All of the entries are listed next to every single product on the store and added up in your cart to tell you the total entries that you will receive when you place your order. And that's something that we've not had on our website before, but we have it now so you can actually see just how much every product is worth. I think you guys would be surprised just how many entries you can get with how little money you have to spend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Link is in the description below. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.